To reveal the redemption is one faithful step away from the missteps and misfortunes that conceal the ultimate truth. This was a line that kept coming to me, and since I couldn't write on the last days of Passover, where I was on a ranch sitting above Santa Barbara, I just kept repeating it like a mantra. And realizing that it's this power of hamten, of pause, that affords us the opportunity to take a moment and try to take the faithful step towards alignment instead of the step towards disconnection. And in this parasha, like Pesach, like an open mouth, we're in the book of Vayikra, which is calling out. And the parasha now, the Torah portion of Emo, which is also related to speaking. And it's this power of speech. Right now we're in the time of Sfirata Omer, which is counting of the days, the 49 days from Passover, which is us leaving our enslavements and our constraints and moving towards Shavuot, which is the time where we receive the Torah anew. In this time, we count the seven emotional attributes of the Sphira, of the Tree of Life. And those seven emotional attributes, they start with Chesed, loving kindness, and they move to Malchut, to kingship. And some of you might know, Avraham, our forefather, is tied to Chesed, to loving kindness. But there was an imbalance, spiritual imbalance within that. So he had Yitzchak as a son, but he also had Ishmael. And with Yitzchak, he's tied to Gvura, to Dinim, to judgment. And there was also an imbalance. So he had Yaakov, but he also had Esau. Yaakov was the first one where he perfected this harmony and he's connected to Tiferet, which means harmony. So out of him came the 12 tribes, came all of B'nai Israel, the children of Israel come from him. Esau is connected to Livushim, the garments, the animal soul, and Yaakov is connected to the light and the godly soul. In this time of counting the Sfirata Omer, of trying to perfect these seven emotional attributes that maybe we have our own imbalance, we need to take pauses. So in this parasha, in this Torah portion, we read, it's says Shabbat Shabbaton in relation to the festivals. And the Sfirat Omer, it's not seven days to correct, to rectify these seven emotional attributes. It's actually seven weeks. It's seven days times seven. It's all within nature. Seven days trying to transcend nature. So in this time, there are seven pauses, seven Shabbatot. And that is what brings the ultimate redemption. That's what takes us from nature, when we perfect nature, to something supernatural, to receiving the Torah anew. And Malchut, which is the final Sfirah, which we're going towards, is connected connected to the world. The world has the Livushim, has all of these garments that cover and conceal the godly light so that we could have free will. Or, which is garments in Hebrew, has an Ayn, right? So this is the garments connected to Esav, connected to the things that conceal the godly light. The same word or with an Aleph, which represents Hashem being there, is light itself. And nature, this concealment of godly light, is connected to Esav. Yaakov is connected to or with an Aleph, the godly soul. How do we tap into the godly soul? This concealment, when we think about Hashem, God, Melech HaOlam, he's the king of the universe, but that's connected to Ne'elam or Elem, which is hidden. He's hidden himself in the universe through these garments. The most interesting thing when we think about Yaakov and when he gets that blessing from Yitzchak, he doesn't get it by connecting just to the light itself, to the or, and he receives the blessing. No, he puts on the garments of Esau. He puts on these, the garments that conceal, garments that are related to nature, to all of these things that we need to transcend and to elevate into godliness. He puts those garments on and that's when he receives the blessing. So we have to interface with nature. We have to take a pause. Instead of reacting through a distortion of these emotions, we need to try to take a pause and perfect and elevate these emotions and connect to them through the pause, through these seven Shabbatot. Shabbat is related to Lishbot, to rest. We have to rest in order to rise. And that is when we could bring the light. We take nature itself and all of the elements that conceal godliness, and we elevate those so that we could bring the blessing. Because if the light is coming down, we need to turn it into a blessing so that we could be able to hold on to the blessing and manifest that light into a blessing. And that's only through elevating the things that separate so that we could actually bring them back to the source and unite with the source itself, with our creator and with everyone around us. And that's when we could feel unified and blessed ourselves. Shabbat Shalom.